Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Zain bin Zainal I am from RKP3 So today we're going to talk about the auxiliary machinery that used in a marine scope um, We're going to talk about the heat exchanger So probably this there is a two type of heat exchanger which is a plate type and a tube type So today we're going to talk about tube and shell type of heat exchanger so basically there is a three type of flow in a tube and shell heat exchanger which is first one is a parallel flow second one is a counter flow and third one is a cross flow so to make it easy there's a two type of fluid that flow in the heat exchanger the first one is a medium fluid and the second one is the system fluid the system fluid is flowing inside the tube and the medium fluid is the medium that cool down the system fluid this drawing is a parallel flow drawing heat exchanger where the medium fluid and the system fluid flowing in the same direction. This picture showing that the counter flow drawing. The medium fluid enter the opposite direction and enter at opposite end. The system fluid will approach inlet temperature of the hot fluid. Generally, this is the most efficient type of the heat exchanger. This last type of flow is a cross flow type. The medium fluid flow perpendicularly passing by each tube in the heat exchanger. The system fluid flow in each tube. So it's time to know how this type of heat exchanger work. A shell and tube heat exchanger consists of a bundle of tube inside a larger of tube which is shell. The tube fluid usually the system fluid flows through the tube in one direction. The shell fluid usually the medium fluid flows through the shell and around the all of the tube in opposite direction. This called the counter flow process design. The shell contains buffer to support the tube and repeatedly redirect the medium fluid across the tube bundle. So it's easy to understand, right? So that's all for me for the tube and shell heat exchanger. See you next time. Bye bye.